Cowabunga! <laughs> What's up, everybody, and thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Arathilis, and today I am super psyched that I managed to pick up my pre-order from GameStop. That's right, these figures are only available at GameStop, once to be known as a SDCC exclusive, now sold as singular turtles rather than a full four turtle set. And uh, yeah, these are the NECA toys, uh, 1990s movie editions of the Ninja Turtles. Super psyched about it. I can't wait to open these up and let's see what's going on because I chose the SDCC exclusive uh, Megazord over these. I had a choice between uh, these and the Megazord and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick up the Megazord because I really like the way the Black Megazord looks. And you know what, I said if these come out again, they come out again. And they did, okay, they did. They, they totally did. <laughs> so if you thought it was an exclusive, it is not. So let's open Leonardo, the leader of the Ninja Turtles first, and let's see what's going on here. I am really stoked about these figures. Uh, I guess we're gonna do paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories, but I think we should do it individually, just because I don't really wanna do them as a full set, because that's not how you get these as a set. You get them as singular turtles. So let's start off with Leonardo here as I attempt to unbox him. And his feet are really in the blister package, wow. Everyone stand by as I try to get out. Okay, so here he is. Let's get some more light on here. And let's see what's really going on. Let's zoom in and let's see. So I haven't really looked into these turtles. All I know is that they're really good, everyone wanted them. And let's see why people want them. It's because of this awesome neck detail. Look at the texturing on this turtle. He just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I, just by looking at the box, I was like, wow, these guys must be really good looking. And they are, they feel good, they look good. They're everything you want in a Ninja Turtle uh, figure. The paint apps are really solid on Leonardo here. I love the blue and the shading that's on his bandana. The eyes are painted as well. It's just everything I ever wanted, the texture, everything. It's just fantastic, these figures. Wow, this is a really nice looking Leonardo. And let's look here, there's other things we get here. Well, actually, before we even get into the accessories, let's talk about articulation. Now, they don't have toe joints, which is fine, and it looks to me that there's about 16 points of articulation, which is under 20, about. I'm not too sure, just looking at the top of my head. So let's talk about it. We have an up and down here at the ankle. We got a bend at the knee, which is a double jointed knee, which is really nice. We get like, oh man, everything's super tight on neck of toys. That's the thing, I, 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 it's, a, it's a plus and a negative when it comes to these. Because if they're super tight, I feel like I'm gonna break them if I keep moving them around. As you can see here, we do have that, like it's not a ball joint, but it's just a regular joint there at the leg and it's super tight. We don't get anything at the midsection, that's because it would ruin the aesthetic of the turtle shell. We have that joint there at the shoulder. We get a uh, bend at the elbow and we got a joint here at the wrist and it looks like we only get one point here at the neck. So there's not much. You can't really have them doing like super awesome kick. I guess you can. But sidekicks does not look like it's a thing unless I loosen that joint up. It's just extremely tight. These joints are very, very tight. All right, let's talk about accessories. You get a pizza slice here. It looks like to be a deluxe uh, because it has peppers and olives and meatballs. It looks like no pepperoni. That looks pretty cool. We get another part for his bandana. So let's take that out, let's see. That came out really easy. I guess this is more for action poses. I really like that, by the way, that looks really cool. And we get open hands. Uh, I think these are for like uh, stances and stuff. And most importantly, you gotta have the katanas. Come on, you gotta have the katanas. Gotta have the katanas, these are really cool. And let's look at that. Katanas that are also used when April was chopping up vegetables when they were in the house in the woods. <laughs> Those look really cool. Was it katana? Yeah, I think they were, they were Leo's katanas. Anyway, let's put them on and let's see how he looks when he's fully outfitted. So we're gonna put one there and we're gonna see if they actually fit in the, sh in the sheets. Yes, they do. 
Now, the one thing I don't like is that that's pretty open, but I think that's how it's like in the movie. So there you have it. Those look really solid. Whoa. I can see why people love these as, a, as the exclusive. Like, these sold out so fast. I can see why now. These are really solid-looking toys. Um, the, despite the fact that they're not super posable due to their lack of articulation, they just look fantastic. As long as we have some sort of articulation, I'm pretty happy with that one. All right, so that handles uh, Leonardo. And, of course, we're going to go to the next one, his rival brother, Raphael. All right, so let's open up Raphael here and let's see what's going on. Let's take out all the twisty ties and all kinds of crap, so please stand by. All right, so here's Raphael, and let's zoom in here. Let's just look at his paint in detail. These should all pretty much be the same. And, of course, we have that angry smirk of the, of the very stubborn brother. And I love the red bandana. Again, we have that shading. And, of course, we have the turtle shells. And the texture is exactly the same as they should be. Um, it looks like... Yeah, everything's pretty much the same as Leonardo. Obviously, the belts and stuff are going to be different. So, yeah, this is Raphael, and he looks really cool, as he should. And, yeah, let's talk about articulation, which actually is the exact same thing as Leonardo. So I guess you should just pretty much enjoy how he looks. And let's just jump right into accessories. And I love that they all come with, like, this flowy bandana, which is, like, used for action poses. And uh, let's just put that on him and let's outfit him. Of course, we get another pizza slice, which is also a, uh, I believe this is the deluxe or supreme pizza. You don't get pepperoni. I really, I always thought they had like a pepperoni pizza. I guess they don't really like pepperoni. And I forgot, what, what did they order? What did they order? I remember they ordered a pizza, a specific pizza in the beginning of the movie. Anyway, you guys let me know down in the comments down below. Anyway, that's... That's Raph, and let's look at the other hands. And it looks like we get like a slightly open hand. I'm starting to think that you can interchange these hands with uh, other turtles. And let's just open a little lid. Before we put that on, this is something I want to try. So these are Leo, Leo's hands. This is like right in, in the middle of this review. We're going to put Leo's hand on, uh, or this Leo's hand, on Raph here. And we're going to see how it looks. And yes, they all interchange, which is really cool. So you can have different stances. Your uh, your posing ability is uh, definitely increased there, or posing options, I should say, because of the fact that you can interchange hands with them, as it should be. Let's look at the size here. Of course, it's classic size. The anti, um, what do you call it? Katana blades, so you can lock in that katana. Which, by the way, I love that Ninja Turtle movie in, back in the early 2000s. I really love that fight between Raph and Leo. Anyway, let's look here. Let's look at those size. Pretty much standard stuff here. Looking really cool. I love how they're wrapped. I love the way they look. And there's even some shading on them, which is really nice. Yeah, and let's put the let's put the this into the sheath right there. Boom. And there you have it. That is Raphael. Let's move on. I think after the first turtle, they pretty much are all the same. So let's move on to Donatello. So everyone stand by as I open this guy up. All right, here's Donatello, and well, let's look closer at him. He should have the same texturing as all the other turtles, and yes, everything is the same here. Um, just pretty much, the, I think they all have, yeah, like I said, I think they're pretty much all the same body with just different heads and belts. So let's look at the, for the face. This is the most important part. You gotta look at the face. Look at those eyes. Again, loving the eyes, loving the shading on the bandana. Really fantastic these figures are. All right, so let's look at accessories. Of course, you get the other slice of pizza. Same stuff. I'm gonna put all that pizza together. Probably even make a four slice pizza. Of course, we get the pointing finger here. Again, these are interchangeable, 100%. Those are really cool. And the flowing bandana. I'm gonna put the flowing bandana on all of them because I really like that they all come with this. This is really cool. 
that one was a little bit tougher to take out, but not too bad. All right, there you have it. That's the flowing bandana. And of course, we got to take out his bow staff. In the video games, I always pick Donatello because of his extremely long reach, especially for the, the Nintendo game, which is super hard. I've only beaten that game once. Can't do it anymore. Anyway, and yeah, and after I beat that game, I was like, I'm done. Not playing this again. <laughs> so anyway, I'm trying to get um, Donnie here to hold the stick or the bow staff better. Let's see if we can do it like this. So he does hold it like that, I believe. And there you have it. There's Johnny with his bow staff and it looks really good. And it looks like it can be held back here. Let's look right here, there's something really interesting here. I honestly thought it was uh, it was not gonna be like this. These are actually like, uh, what are these, ribbons? So that he can actually, those can actually hold the bow staff. So let's take off the bow staff and let's see what it looks like when you do that. So there you have it, see, oh no, yikes. So here's the problem I'm already having. <laughs> These are not very tight. Uh-oh. So we're gonna have to tighten them up. And this one already came loose. Yikes. That's gonna be really tricky to get going there. I honestly think they should have just like made a better holster for that, but I think this is as the best as we're gonna get it. And that does, honestly will not hold it that well. I think this is the only negative I'm finding right now is with Donatello, I really wish they had a more secure way on putting that. Yikes. So he's probably just gonna hold his staff from here on in. I don't think he's ever gonna holster that because of the fact that those get really loose. And I guess you could just tighten them up, but over time they will get loose. Now, I never said who my favorite turtle is. And everyone loves the party dude, Michelangelo. Let's zoom out and let's see what's going on here. This is Michelangelo and we're gonna open him up and we're gonna see what's going on here. All right, we got Michelangelo here and we're gonna look close here and notice that it's exactly the same as all the other turtles. Um, but that's okay, like I said, they're all pretty good, so why why should I complain? They're fantastic. These look really, really good. Uh, by the way, I haven't really mentioned the price. These are like 22 bucks at GameStop if you can even find them anymore. And they look fantastic. Uh, let's look at the eyes. I think this is one thing I love about this Mikey, is these eyes are just so like innocent because he's the youngest turtle. And I just really like the way that one looks. And uh, let's look at the other hands. It looks like you get thumbs up hands. And like I said before, these are all interchangeable. And of course we get the final slice of the pizza, which is right here. And let's just put this pizza together. Why not? We have all four slices and we get half a pizza there. So you don't get the full one, unfortunately. So one slice per, per turtle. And let's look at the nunchucks. Those look really cool, <laughs> I guess. They come with a string in between them. I honestly thought they were chain. No, they weren't chain. They weren't chain in the movie, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, there you have it. There he is with his uh, nunchucks. Oh, you know what? What would be a really cool effect is if you could take the finger hand and then you could have him spin the nunchuck on it like a spinning effect, that would be really cool. That would be like, I love that part in the movie where he like does like a little nunchuck dance off with one of the foot soldiers. That was really cool. Uh, but you don't get that, but you do get this flowing bandana. And there you have it. That is, um, that is Michelangelo right there. So now that we have all four turtles, let's do a quick comparison. Um, let's look here. This is an SH Figure Arts Iron Man. I know I keep putting him in all my videos because he's pretty much the only SH Figure Arts I have in the, in the office at the moment. And we have a Multiverse Batman, which actually kind of fits well with them. SH Figure Arts, no, not so much. Not so much. Um, yeah. So these are all 112 scale. And then we have Silver Sable from Marvel Legends. It looks like the Marvel Legends and the Multiverse seem to fit.
So just to be sure, 100% sure, let's look at this Michelangelo and let's see how tall he's standing. So they're above six inches. We're looking at about seven and a quarter inches. So that's how tall they are. All right, so now that we've gone over everything, let's come up with a final uh, conclusion of these turtles. Are these worth the 22 bucks that you can only get at GameStop if you can find them? Absolutely. I can see why these were so popular at Comic-Con because they're really, really good looking and great figures. And I absolutely love them. We'll definitely keep them in my collection. And yeah, highly recommend it if you can find them. Thanks guys for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.